first thing you want to do is create an even and flawless base for your makeup. Now I'm using Stargazer's Pan Stick in 01 Light Flesh, but you can use any foundation you want to. I feel that applying a thicker foundation allows for the most even base to create the best look. The next thing you want to do is set it with the lightest powder foundation that you own. I'm using Stargazer's Pressed Powder on White just because I think it adds to the coverage of the already flawless pan stick. So now what you want to do is you want to bronze along the contours of your face. I did it on the outside of my face because I have a heart shaped face and I like to contour my forehead to get rid of any kind of over, over, <laughs> I don't know what it's called, over shine on my head. Um, I did contour along my jawline because I have quite a soft jaw. So I always make sure to make that stand out, especially with a look as harsh as this. You will soften this out, so don't worry about this. Um, along, obviously cheekbones is a big thing. I use a darker thing for the cheekbones and the harsher lines I wanted to do. Uh, you can do the sockets of your eyes if you have quite soft set eyes. Um, aside from that, I just say general areas. Now this bit's a bit weird because you're going to contour along the top part of your cheeks. Uh, it's going to look really weird for the meantime, but you'll blend it out in a second. Um, set the highlights of your face with the white press powder by Stargazer. You will go over the bronze bit, but that's just to help soften and blend it in. As you can see it here, it looks really bizarre, but it's gonna it's gonna look okay at the end. Um, so now that we've darkened some areas, we need to equally lighten some. For this, I'm using Snazaroo's Clown White mixed with a bit of primer to smooth it out. But you can use any cream or powder form you want to use. You could also use just a, a really heavy white eyeshadow, but I prefer using creams because I think it blends in with the base a bit more. But like I say, each person has their own techniques and you have to find yours. I use a picture of a day for reference, but you can follow any kind of highlight structure that you want to use. Now I really enjoyed this part of my makeup look because I thought this was a time where I got to play around and have fun with the look. So um, what I did is I had little like kind of first strokes to the side of my eyebrows. I thought this really brought my eyebrows out a little bit and it made them more, you know, out of this world. So I thought I wasn't such a standard human anymore. I had these crazy eyebrows. Like, you know, I thought it was just really fun and I thought it added something unique to the look because I haven't seen it done before. Um, obviously if it has, then that's cool. But I just think everyone should add their own little personal touches to things. So if you want to go crazy, you can add this into your look or you can make your own variation of this look. Have fun. Now the eyeliner was really tricky for me, um, I played around with loads of different options and I tried drawing eyelashes on and crazy stuff but at the end I just decided simple was best because I had so much going on everywhere else that I didn't need that much so I just did basic cat eye, I did um, a line in my waterline, I uh, had some mascara on the bottom lashes but not the top this was just basically to simplify the look a little bit because I think there's so much going on with other stuff that you don't need that much. I think my eyes pretty much make themselves stand out if you've done your eyeliner correctly. This was the part that I had of false lashes. I'm not going to go in depth on how I did this because you can see in the video mostly anyway. And there are thousands of tutorials out there that are amazing for how to apply false lashes. I'm not great at it myself so I can't really preach. Um, but everyone develops their own technique and you just have to learn what suits you and how you can do things. So here I'm using I'm using Snazaroo's Clown White in a cotton bud just to add white spots all over my face to give that very kind of fragile deer like look that you see in Fawns and Bambi and whatnot. I think this was really easy, all you had to do was go crazy and don't follow a pattern because then you end up looking too symmetrical and animals don't look symmetrical. Also, I can add a whisk of marks on top of my lips with a really, really faint white, just to a little bit of detail, but it helped. And I went over my eyes and my lip with the white pressed powder and a latex sponge. Here you can see me adding my nose on. I did it around the bottom because I think rather than adding a big fat snout, the little pointed one makes it look a bit more, you know, fragile. And for lips, I just used like a purple and smeared it on the inside just for a darker look. This is one of my favourite bits of any makeup look is accessorising. So for the accessories, this one, I made some dreadlock extensions from some old knackered extensions that I had lying around that I kept for god knows what reason. Um, and then I made some horns out of latex and clay. And to complete this look, I made a huge set of ears out of clay, latex, a headband and some fur. I think it's the little things like this that make a look go from, you know, standard to really good. I think it's definitely worth the effort and time you put in, but just because it does make this look so much better.
remember to like and subscribe if you had a good time watching the video. Leave any comments if you've got any questions, I'll happily answer them. See ya!